I always see guys on the Kubota Tractor and Equipment Forum on Facebook say that they leave their forks on 90% of the time. Can that be true? Well, let's do a walk around of the uh, forks I just got from Tony Ashwell over there at AI2. As you can see, I, I had to mute the sound because uh, those dry leaves were so loud, the crunching, and then there was a guinea hen that was uh, wanting her 15 minutes of fame too. So you can see the, the carriage there, that comes in at 78 pounds, and the forks each weigh 42 pounds. So combined weight of about 160 pounds. The uh, loader bucket is about 140 pounds for comparison. They're 36 inch forks. The height of the forks are 19 inches. There's a two inch tube on the top there and then that runs in the middle. And I was watching one of Tony's videos and he said he did that to help with the torsion um, if there's a lot of weight on one fork out there on the end like some of the guys do trying to pry up some concrete um, so he said he has to build his carriages his forks uh, for the BXer and mine that push their their tractors and their forks to the limit I will say, when I picked them up, they sure shined. He sure took care to make sure they were, they looked awesome. So they attach to the um, AI, you know, Tony's uh, quick attach system there. They will also attach to the Kubota quick attach system. You can also mount them directly to the loader arms if you didn't have a quick attach system. The new 80 series of BXs, they have um, the option for the swift attach system. I think that's what it's called, where it's like a skid steer system. And from one of the videos, I think Tony did say he's working on um, having a carriage that would work with that system as well. So, you know, it's no problem to pick up. I actually am starting to get the hang of using the uh, uh, AI2 quick attach. Now this is something that I just realized. Uh, <laughs> I can put those in all from one side. So no more walking around the bucket or the forks or the grapple. I can uh, put those pins in and the keepers all from one side. So pretty pleased about that. I will mention with that swift attach system, I hear that it is about a hundred pounds. So you're going to lose some of your lift capacity, you know, compared to using the Kubota or Tony's quick attach system, which come in around 50 pounds. Using the forks is pretty easy. Um, you can see the end of the forks. So lining up uh, to get under the pallets is no problem. I didn't have any problem at all. So the forks, I think uh, they are three inches wide, about an inch thick, and um, 36 inches long. But I'm just really pleased. You know, I've had some pallets laying around, and um, being able to throw stuff on a pallet is uh, pretty awesome. I'm, I'm really liking it. I can get much more on a pallet than I could a bucket. So, I'm liking it. You know, let's nerd out just a little bit and talk about the loader capacity. So I've got the, I believe it's the LA240. The specs say that at the loader pins, it can raise 745 pounds through the full height. If you go 500 millimeters out away from the pins, which is about 18 inches, 
it drops to 518 pounds. So that's a 227 pound difference um, in, in decrease in your lift capacity, and, which is about 30%. So quite a bit um, when you move out the further out that you go. So that just kind of, you know, those bolt-on, clamp-on forks that go on the end of the bucket. Just think how far out you are away from the uh, loader pins. So you're going to decrease your, your what we call it, your lift capacity quite a bit. You know, compared to some of the competitors that I looked at, um, Land Pride, Titan, Pallet Forks, you know, they were coming in around 300 pounds. So, you know, it, it these are half that. So that's 150 more pounds that I can uh, be lifting, material that I can be lifting. So I'm, I'm um, really pleased with these. Now I will say, um, you know, back to the original question about the guys that leave their forks on 90% of the time, I'm starting to see why. I can see why you would um, just use pallets to go move material. You know, I'd, I would throw stuff in my bucket, now I just throw it on a pallet and I can have more room. Um, it doesn't overflow it. Um, I made a, a mesh little wood chip uh, con container so that I could chip right into it. The mesh is a little big, chicken wire, and uh, so it, it went through it. But, um, you know, I, I have big plans for all kinds of workstations um, that I can just slip the forks in and take with me to, um, to wherever I'm working, whatever I'm doing. So I can see why guys like their forks. I'm liking mine. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. I truly feel blessed to be able to do this and contribute back to the YouTube community that I have learned so much from, such as how to do tractor and auto maintenance and repair, plumbing repairs in my house, electrical, which I'm certain has saved me thousands of dollars over the years. Not to mention the tons of entertainment watching tractor-related videos in anticipation of my tractor, then how to use it, or the attachments, or what my next attachment mod I absolutely needed. I'm sure I'm the only one, right? To help support the channel, please hit the like button and comment below. This helps the video get suggested to other viewers. Plus, I really enjoy the interaction from y'all. If you want to see other videos of my tractor adventures, sub subscribe to my channel at OND Life and hit the bell symbol to be notified when new videos are posted. When you go to my channel, you will find videos discussing attachments, some safety lessons learned from a rollover I had and a time that the tractor was running away from me downhill. And then there's videos of just getting orange and dirty. If you are on Facebook, you can find me at OND Life. Like and follow the page for sneak peeks of current weekend projects and likely upcoming videos. Look in the description below for my email and link to the OND Life Amazon store where you can find some products that I use in the videos or just use or that I want and I plan to order at some point from the store. Lastly, check out some of the videos in the description. I have some links. They're videos of products that can help keep you orange and dirty, living the O&D life. O&D out.